Hello, this is Daniel Gindy from Green Power Global Technology, and I want to talk about another device that we, another solar generator that we are offering for sale. Um, this is the Wagon Tech E Power E Cube 1500. And this little compact device has a 55 amp hour battery. Um, there is a plus version that has a larger battery for longer run time on your AC devices or devices you want to use with the inverter. Um, this unit has a 1500 watt inverter. Um, it also has a 80 watts of solar panel, solar PV power. Um, basically, um, the panels are all compact and they're all built into the unit so you don't have a power pack with a wire going to another 80 watt panel to charge the battery everything is built into the unit um, the way it works is that there's one panel right here that flips back like that okay there's another panel right here that flips out like that, okay. Then there's another panel. Let me see. Another panel right here, sitting right here. Okay. Then you pull this out. You have another panel here, and then you pull this side out. You have another panel here. So there's 80 watts of solar PV and uh, it charges, it has a uh, controller on here inside as well and it also has a 55 amp hour battery. Like I said before, there's a plus version that has a bigger battery. And when you're done, when you're done charging with the solar panels, you just slide them all back like that. And the panel goes like this. And that goes like that. And you're good. Um, also, some other things. We have a little storage compartment here. Yeah. There it is. Storage compartment. And then, like, you have a, a DC to DC charger, so you can charge this as well. If you want, if you want to charge it from your car or your you know, another DC source. You just go plug it in. This has a little plastic covering of all the electronic things, just in case it might get a little, you know, rain or whatnot, or a little bit of weather. Then you just plug it into the DC port here, and then you plug that into your car. And while the car's running or whatnot, it'll charge the power pack. Um, also included with it comes an, uh, a cord that has an end like this that plugs in there, but the other end is a uh, it plugs into household current, and you can charge uh, the power pad, the battery in here from household current. Um, they recommend that, and on this, uh, the, the the charger that comes with the AC it'll float charge the battery in here so you just leave it plugged in and it just keeps it topped off and when, then when you're ready to use it you can use it and uh, it's a nice device um, also you have a battery disconnect here so when you're charging it it has to be on but to save the battery so nothing draws any juice from the battery, you just turn it off. Okay. When you want to use it, oh, and also, in the back, you have a negative terminal and a positive terminal. And in case you want a uh, longer, say you had a 55 amp hour battery, but then you want to add a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery, you can plug the deep cycle battery to this 
and whatever you're charging will charge the, the 55 amp hour battery and then charge the 100, 100 amp hour deep cycle battery, the, the battery, uh, the uh, auxiliary battery that you plug into this. It's just, the, it's, it's there so that you know you can upgrade, you can keep on adding things to it as you, you know, get, get accustomed to it. Um, also you can add um, additional solar PV panels. I, I forgot the total max that you can use for solar PV because they have a, a regulator charge control in here and the total max amount of amps that can be produced by the solar panels have to match the charge controller. On the website uh, it's listed how many panels you can put in here. Um, and basically to turn it on, you know, you have this plastic cover here, you turn it on, and you got to turn the inverter on, okay, and then you hold down on this, this is the voltage regulator, the voltmeter, it's telling me I got 13 volts, which is good, and then again, like I said, here we have a fan. Move this over here. We have a fan. We plug the fan in here. The fan's in there. There we go with the fan. So it's making the fan work. And there's on the website, there's a list of uh, how many hours certain AC devices can run off of this thing. Um, and then again, like I said, the Plus version has a bigger built-in battery. So it enables you to run things longer. And also, if you wanted to run things longer, you could, you know, go to Walmart and get a marine deep cycle battery and plug it into the positive and negative thing in the, the plug ports in the back, little screw thing. And uh, then when you're charging this with AC or the panels, it will charge the 55 amp hour battery. And then after it's done that, it'll go charge the auxiliary battery that's in the back. So, let me turn this off. And, here we got a uh, tablet. See now, if you look, you'll see that the, the tablet is saying it's charging the battery. See, it's going blue, 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 blue. So, right now the power pack is charging the battery. Um, you can also have it charge. You know, here's a cell phone. You can have this charge. Your cell phone. See, now it's saying I was charging 98% charge. I was charging the cell phone too. So it has two SD cores. Here are two connectors, like I said, if you want to add additional solar panels. 
And if you have DC devices, you can put them in here as well. So when we're done with this, pull that out. Pull the tablet, the USB app tablet. solarpath.com or you can call us at 305-665-4212. Thank you.